Here's exactly the thing you should do if you feel a guy pulling away from you. If he's starting to lose interest and he's kind of weaning you off, there's one important thing you need to do. You need to feel deep gratitude because this dude is not your man. You know who your man is? He's the guy who's absolutely passionate about you. He's the guy who makes you feel great, not wondering and sending mixed messages. He's the guy who's energized for you. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard to let this one go because he seems so great, but I promise you he's not and he's doing you a favor. Okay, so before I give a reaction to this TikTok, make sure you guys are following me, well, subscribe to here on this channel, but also make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok, Melanie King Official on both platforms. I put new content, like I don't repost old content from different places. There's different content on every single platform that I have. So, but let's get into this TikTok and discuss what she said. So it's basically a guy who's breadcrumbing you, meaning, you know, he's not, he's pulling away he's not quite as invested maybe when you guys first started dating or if maybe he's never been that invested maybe you're hoping that he's going to pick things up and and be drawn towards you or you guys are going to ramp up and it doesn't happen or you guys are ramped up and it pull he pulls back he pulls away and it's not what it used to be well, the assumption there, there's a lot of assumptions there, and I'm going to break down why a lot of women are finding this, you know, this type, they're finding themselves in this type of relationship or really situationship. Um, and the advice that's out there is just not, uh, it's kind of the same thing over and over where it's a fluff piece about you being special. You are just this, 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 this wonderful thing and no shade to anyone that I'm to this woman at all, but I'm just saying in general, it's usually that you are special. They don't see the value in you that they are just something's wrong with them. And that leads to my first point. The assumption is that something's wrong with the man. It, it, it almost all the advice I see, it's about the man has a problem. He's not doing something. He inherently, he's not a good man or he's just not stepping up or he's just not commitment minded or he's a player. Or he's not ready. He can't handle you. He can't handle a boss diva. He's intimidated by your energy, all of these other things. And the, the, it is rare. It is very rare for me to hear anyone say the problem could be you, the problem could be me. <laughs> Listen, I'll raise my hand the highest because in the past I've exhibited toxic behaviors. We all have, if anybody's perfect and everybody's done everything right, then you know what? God bless and God speed. You deserve a trophy. But for the rest of us, we're broken vessels. We don't get it right all the time. We learn bad behaviors from growing up, TVs, movies, our friends, dating experiences, or some of us have psychological disorders. Like the, it's, or we have mental health issues. There's a lot that goes into, goes into people. And a lot of times we want to assign that something's wrong with another person, but we're not ready to look in the mirror and say, maybe this person is seeing things in me that's not working, that they don't like. There's behaviors in me that aren't, they, that they don't find attractive. Maybe you're too clingy. Maybe you're too possessive. Maybe you act jealous. Maybe you flirt with other men. Maybe your the way you have conversations, you need to be right all the time. Maybe you're crying. Maybe you're always texting my miss you. Where are you when he's hanging out with his friends? Like there's a number of things that could be wrong, but to just assume that is the man that has the issue. I mean, across the board, whether it's a romantic comedy or anything else, men are always assigned the negativity. And there's never a point of reflection to say, what do I need to change? Not saying it doesn't happen in some things, but for the, I think most men will agree, it's generally their bad guy, something's wrong, and women are perfect. Women got it together. And if a man is not committing to her, then he is the issue versus saying, you know what? Let me have honest communication and say, hey, I, you know, really into you or I really think things uh, were going great for us. And I noticed you kind of drop off. Is there, you can be honest with me. Is there something with me that you don't like or doesn't really vibe with you? 
How many women actually do that? We talk about we want a man to open up and be um, emotionally available and communicate, but are we really honest? Because if he was, does he feel safe even telling you that? Will you overreact? I mean, there's so many things I can go into. I probably need to do an entire video that breaks down all the things that turn off men, which in fact, on TikTok, I am doing a series where I'm gonna do 20 different TikToks explaining different things that men, that turn men off. But let's go to number two, the princess mentality. Nearly everything she talked about was you deserve, you are this, you are, it's all this fluff language as though the woman is this prize that she has all this virtue and wonderful qualities. And if a man doesn't see it, then you know what? She's going to, something else is going to come along better to, to, to really put her on that pedestal. And, and even when she said that he's going to be this, all his, the way it was implied, something about him being passionate about you. He's going to be overly passionate about you. And that's just not realistic. And it goes a lot on emotions and feelings and things that aren't lasting in a relationship. There's people who've been married 50 years. Passion is not one of the things that kept them together. That's just a temporary feeling. Okay. It's not something that, you know, that, that just sustains a relationship. And so when I talk about the princess mentality, it's this this idea where we're going to fall in love and it's going to be romantic and this passion is going to ensue. And if you're looking for that all the time, and maybe the guy's just being himself, maybe he's not breadcrumbing, maybe he's taking things slow. Maybe he's been burned in the past. I don't know, but it's this idea that he's going to be so infatuated with you. There's a lot of narcissism that goes on today. I see in a lot of modern dating and, 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 and uh, relationship advice. It's about how you are so special, but reality is we aren't. We have to make ourselves special. Maybe there's, maybe there's things like going to my first point about you that just don't make you a princess. And so we got to start being honest. It's not always men. It's not always another person. Dating has gotten worse, not better. And if it's getting worse, does that really, maybe we should look and see maybe the advice that we've been getting, maybe the advice that's out there, it's not working because it never holds into account what men feel or what men think. And if we want to get better results with men, why are we not asking them and listening to them? Anything I say in these videos is because men have told me in mass how they feel because they've, they're responding to me when I ask questions or when I do videos and I read those comments and I see what men are saying and in conversations that I have. So it's this princess mentality that he has to earn you. And that leads to my next point. Are you the type of woman right now that where you want to be wine and dine? You have these expectations up to here. And if he's not meeting it at the speed you want and how you want, that something's wrong with him, that he's not for you. Well, perhaps because he's not doing everything that I really want. Well, the reality is he's an individual. And instead of just expecting so much to come into you, again, are you thinking about what his needs are. So instead of saying he's not for you because he's not passionate about you, maybe he has other things going on in his life. Maybe he's trying to build a business. He has family issues. He has all types of things to assume that he's going to drop the world and be passionate about you. It's a little conceited. It's ego. It's pride. And, And that goes into this. Maybe we have expectations that are just not realistic, or they're too high, or that guy may not meet those expectations, but it doesn't mean he's a bad man. And to just keep assuming that will have you struggling and looking for that guy who will. And the reality is he doesn't exist or he doesn't exist for you, for me. We have to be realistic about our standards and what we're looking for and the speed that we want it. And, and, and again, if you want better results, you've got to have better thinking. And that leads to number four. How about ask him what he's looking for? Ask him or communicate. It's this, I'm seeing so much advice about just walk away. Well, what does that say about you and your communication style? And you may say, well, I've tried to talk to him. I've asked him questions. I've done this and that. No, you've communicated the way you feel comfortable communicating, but clearly he doesn't feel communicating with you in that way. 
Maybe you you go on and on. You're over dramatic. You're over emotional. You ask it. Uh, ask you ask loaded questions. He knows you have an expectation of a certain answer, so he's not ready really ready to give it. Are you asking what his needs are? What he wants? What he likes? And you say, well, I do everything for him. I cater to him, and I and I, I'm I'm I've asked him what he wants, and I'm doing all of that. If a good if he's a good man, and you're meeting all these expectations. I'm going to tell you now, sis, he's not letting you go because you are a rare treasure. You are a once in a lifetime woman that for him to find where you're meeting all the things that he's looking for. He's not putting you back on the dating market. But this leads to my last point. Are you dating the wrong man? You may be dating your preference, maybe because it looks, money, status, clout, which let's be honest, as women, we have a lot of requirements for men. And a lot of times we will find one or we keep being attracted to the same type of guy. He may come in different packages, but overall we're drawn to it. And maybe the type of men that we're attracted to aren't the ones who are commitment minded. Maybe they aren't the ones looking for marriage. Maybe they are guys who choose to be bachelors and they want to date multiple women and they shouldn't be punished or villainized. I, it's very weird in media and in, 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 in social media everywhere, TVs, movies, a man who chooses to be a bachelor and date different women and not be committed to someone. He's actually criticized and put down as though there's something wrong with a man who doesn't want to settle down. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's been burned in past relationships. He's tired of dealing with women on that type of level. It could be a number of things that he's going through, but he shouldn't be demonized because that's his life choice. Shouldn't they respect our life choices? I mean, so I say all this to say, and it may come across a little harsh, but I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to be realistic. And this is advice that I have had to digest. I've had to eat. There's changes I've had to make. So I'm not sitting here on my high throne trying to scold someone, but I'm trying to give you real advice, practical advice from talking to men and actually not trying to pander to women, which is what a lot of dating advice does today. It's pandering to women and not trying to step on their toes or doing it in a light way, but it still puts ownership on the problems of dating with men. When the reality is, if you really talk to men, when they feel safe to talk, they have a lot of problems with women but no one really wants to listen. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you check me out on my other platforms and subscribe. Give a like if you thought this was good advice or give a like if you didn't like it either. That helps me out. Or leave a comment if you liked or disliked this or if you wanna add something to it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.